Alright, so it's LG Ally Guy here, and I'm today I'm going to show y'all how to get your phone to the 2.2.2 update. That'll update it from just Android 2.1 to Froyo. And I'm a, mine's running Froyo. I know the camera sucks. I don't need other guys. Other, right. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to want to go and download. You're going to want to download this program that is called LG Mobile Update. And what's that? All you're going to have to do is what I would do is I would flash your phone back to stock if you already have a custom ROM. I would flash it back to stock, clear your catch data, clear all your catch, all your user data, every, all, clear everything except for your SD card. You're going to need to put the stock ROM and the ROM that you want to go to on your SD card unless you're just wanting to go for the 2.2.2 update. If you just want to go for that, I'm about to show y'all how to do it. All you're going to have to do is, I'll show you the icon the program too. All you're going to want to do is, is this is the program right here. This one that I got highlighted. It's LG Mobile Update. And whenever you click on it, I'll show you right here. It, it takes a little while sometimes to load. Alright. Now, your phone driver should already be on the phone or on the computer, so it won't say install USB driver as it does here. Mine's on there, but my phone's not plugged in, so that's what it says. It'll say connected, and it'll have some information about your phone. And then all you have to do is you hit start updating, and it will, it'll take between 15 and 30 minutes. It'll reboot your phone whenever it's done. You do not want to unplug you don't even want to touch your phone as soon as you hook it up and hit start updating do not touch your phone until it reboots and whenever it reboots it'll be rebooted in uh, Android 2.2 so this is for the people that are stuck on the 2.1 update one alright now after you after you download or do that if you're still wanting the flash to velocities ROM which is velocity 1.1 1 .1, I believe really good ROM. I'm gonna show you. I've I got a few videos. Hold on. Show you out. Let me see if this works. It's bit, you just, I'm just bidding in the recovery to show you all the next steps. Uh, after you get the 2.2 on there. Alright, now this, if you can use Raw Manager and Flash a different recovery, I got just the one that came with the velocity. And what you're gonna, let's see if you can see that. Yeah, you're gonna want to go to. You're gonna want to go to. Wipe, and that'll wipe your user data. Your user data, it should say it on there. And on, well, you probably. See, so yeah, it'll say wipe all data factory reset. You're gonna want to hit that. What I do is I just go through all of them except SD card. I'll do wipe all data, then wipe data, wipe catch, then I'll uh, delve it catch, battery stats, and rotate settings. I will wipe all of that, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to flash zip menu. And you hit choose zip from SD card. And right there, I don't know if you can see it. Let me, right there, it is, it'll says. You, well, you can see. All right, hold on. Let me go up so you can see. 
velocity 1.1 release zip you click that and it'll go through just like doing anything doing any other ROM it'll go through it saying that it's downloading installing format and all that and then it's just gonna it should just do this I know this camera quality is really bad. My laptop broke, so I don't have it anymore. I don't have its webcam, which is better. It should go into that recovery one more time. Yeah. Then just, just hit. It's going to be this recovery after you flash it, so it's going to be different than what you had it. All you got to do on this one, you got to hit enter instead of OK. It always just makes you go through it twice. And it should do exactly this if you use the velocity 1.1 or 1.1 which is custom FOIA ROM nice little boot screen I think and then the next one I like it I should have a sound with it It's actually very fast booting up, except for the first time, which the first time is always going to be a bit slow because it's loading all your settings. All right, just I'm going to show y'all a little bit about the ROM. I've got another video. I'm just going to show y'all some the main features that are stock whenever it comes on. Because on the other one, it had I showed all my. All right, apps to SD, real nice. You got to go and switch them all over. It's just like deleting an app. It'll say uninstall, and then right under uninstall, it'll say move the SD card. And if you want your apps your SD, the only thing is that if you got a widget and you're using an app that has a widget, you cannot move that to your SD card and still have the widget on your home screen or on any of your home screens. And it's just loading the clock widget. That always takes a little bit. But the, it's just velocity. You got the black status bar. As you can see that. It's got... It's got the... Still got the 2.2 menu 3G Tether the stock one that you'll find on 2.2.2 whenever you update is disabled on velocity and instead it's replaced with wireless tether which is really fast it's really fast for Wi-Fi that's what I use for my Wi-Fi and then they got one wired tether for your wired and it's just you'll see wireless tether which is that green one right there you click on it it'll load up here in a second and just press to start Wi-Fi alright another cool feature that they got is one called it's a app called Velocity Tools or Velocity Tools you click on it and this is really nice I really like it you can go to you can, this CPU settings and you can overclock you don't have to download set CPU I really like that on this you don't have to set it to set CPU uh, that's I really like that a lot so you can just like I'm gonna set it at 748 and just apply see now my phone running a lot you can just like you can just tell all right so wireless tether wired tether they're right next to each other velocity tools is up there another one that came on the phone was oi file manager i don't like that one i use android zip and let's see 3g mobile hotspot that's the one that is disabled i mean it's still on there it this pulls up a help sign Alright, well that's about it. If you have any problems, comment on here, send me a message, and I'll help you out.